Thanks for staying with us. So it's a rainy, rainy Wednesday on uh, in Lagos today, and everywhere is wet and flooded. Even um, areas that don't normally flood, whatever today, it's flooded. I uh, would like to open our phone lines to Nigerians to call us from all over the state. And even in the outside, outside Lagos, if it, in case you are experiencing similar rains in your own area, please give us a call on 081-0764-1679-090-241-63440. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. Share with us your experiences today so far with the rains out there. I'll start with Maryam because she just got in. Yes. And uh, which area exactly was flooded when you were coming? Which area Okay, like I said, um, so Ikoroduro, definitely parts of it were flooded as of the time I was there. Mm. The other side, which is mm. where, <laughs> what I use going back. back, that's completely shut down. Oh, I don't even know when the, those people will get to work or if mm. their school runs, whatever. But coming, you know, after a few meters like that, then there's um, serious flooding. So you divert off like the service lanes and you know get back on the express. Wow. But then once you hit that Maryland under that bridge, then you're in traffic until at the time I got there there was a bit of space. So drove to that bridge towards Ojota. Now that's where you'll be in traffic up until I got here. And I see that once you get on the express as well, the um express here. There's traffic all the way. So all those that are going, you know, towards, that's the Ibadan axis. They are completely stuck in traffic. Mm -hmm. So it's really terrible. And there's flooding everywhere, yes. Mm -hmm. So um, there were parts where my car really went deep into the water. <laughs> smaller, much smaller cars. Those ones, they were nearly covered. You drive water. a Mercedes, right? I was, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm most scared yes. of Mercedes because Mercedes always have issues in water. Yeah, I, just, I was, I was worried for you. Okay. Well, I don't know, maybe they fixed it, but yes, so the time that Mercedes, we still lots of yes, Mercedes yeah, stopping on the, on, the, on the road. Mm. But um, we'd like to get some videos, mm. uh, pictures. I think our producer is working, for a few, well, working on a few videos. Uh, I think Third Milan Bridge ahead. Mm. Third we'll Milan Bridge. That's our yeah, brand so new Third Milan Bridge ahead. It's flooded. Yes. Mm. Is it the bridge itself? Yeah, or yeah, is it what, yeah, no, yes, that, that one place, that goes yeah, down. That goes down the, so that area, there's water everywhere. Mm. I think I'll just advise oh, coming, I, Sorry. coming to work, I usually take that and I come in through the Bagada and yeah. will, mm. to work just to avoid because I think it's higher. Mm. So for coming, we're even having, you know, water for those everywhere. But those below going in was mm. Third Mainland were already blocked. Mm. All the way from Third Mainland, not just your world end. All the way from Third Mainland, you can see the traffic this way, all the car lights. Because it was still dark. I gave it in before um, 7, around 6.48 today. Mm. And the stretch of the traffic had gotten to Ogudu. Mm. So for you to understand, I'm wondering how it will be now. The way Miriam is saying, I want to, I'd rather choose going home. You know, I have this, I don't know if it's scientific. If it rains and the rain comes from the east mm. towards my window, it's usually expected that it won't be so flooded. Wow. But if, it, if it's coming from the west for me, I'll be like, this rain will flood ground. God, please, please. Yeah, even, you know? How do you know, the, how do you know where the rain is coming from? Okay, so I know the east because I pray towards pray, the east. Pray. So okay. when it's, it's flooding, it's raining this way, okay. I'll be like, ah, okay, you can measure it yeah. from experience living there. Yeah. Then if it's coming from the west, mm. and this money was coming from the west, all the clothes I put outside, everything, the windows, I was like, ah, this rain, God. I told myself, this is the kind of rain you go back in your blanket yes. and sleep. <laughs> but yeah. then I still carried my laptop and bags and thought, after work, I will go to the firm. Thank you for coming to work. We appreciate you that you made yeah. no. it. See, you see the rain, the <laughs> prediction now. Yeah. Everywhere is flooded. Yeah. And I don't know how I'm going to I'm get broke. back home. Yeah. And it's so funny how yesterday I told you that there were just showers of rain mm. and Lekki Phase 1 was flooded. So I, I would just advise anybody that lives in Lekki Phase 1, if you cannot swim, but yeah. today is the swimming day. Oh, please. Say, I'm telling you, <laughs> I mean, yes, there were just showers of rain, and as in my car went so deep into the water, you can, you can now imagine today what's going to happen. So if you can't swim, just stay at home. If you have no business, if it's not urgent, I stay was at supposed home. to go today. I have a meeting in Ikoyi Try after the show. I'm not going. I'm not going. We're not even leave this day. Make it virtual. Try yes. I want to tell the brother, I want to call the people, please, yeah, or guy. I cannot speak for that meeting. Because but I don't so know. Much. Maybe yeah. when the rain stops and it starts getting dry, things. It's not, not going to dry. Not gonna dry. My secretary I'm just dropped a message now that she has not gotten a bus since, and she just wants to try from Oshodi, a look where she lives, to Ikeja. She cannot get transport. Everywhere is flooded.
Yeah. Me too, I've seen pictures of Osho um, under the bridge. Mm. That's Osho di Sale, not the Osho Oki okay now. Mm. Flooded. So it's most likely going to be like that around town. Yeah. Um, the Osho di end from that Toyota bus stop mm. today. I took the service lane. Immediately, I usually don't, I would go in the middle lane. I went to the service lane, passed in front of the charity uh, military barracks and stayed on that extreme end because it's a bit higher. You can predict where the water, even though the roads are flooded, you can predict at least your car will go up small yeah. on that side. And I saw the people that took the risk of passing that middle lane, how they were now stuck in the water. I was like, ah, you, you don't know this road. Anyway. That, you know, it's always been. Just, but the cause of this flood, Moraya, let's say the truth, is clogged drainages. And Lagosians must carry the answer by themselves. Mm -hmm. In my neighborhood, the reason why we are suffering it is because we have people who live and dump their waste using stick to push it into the gutters. Yes. We have these wide gutters. That's what they did for us, at least this wide. You could stand on top of it and it is full mm. with wastage. This, um, what's that Styrofoam. plate? Styrofoam plate yeah. that yeah. they ban. You food there. Pure water sachets, you food the bottles. This high. You stand on top of it and they still defecate on it. Mm. I started doing exercises working with my husband on weekends. And my husband was like, I'm not working with you again. Mm. You see with my eye, they say, don't be carrying me past this corner. Past this corner. You know, yeah. what we are doing with our hands, we cannot come and call government a loan for it. Because mm. why will Osho be flooded? And it's not even abating in mm. a few hours. So this is like... Osho, is he, is he lucky? Is Surinere lucky? Is um, uh, under the bridge straight fair? Is he lucky? Mm. These were areas where when it rains, the waters go after a while. So but if the water is not going... Third Milan Bridge, this is, this is Third Milan Bridge, the Yanawuro... Yeah. Yes. You see the waste by that uh, bridge. We, see we call it Third Milan brothers. Bridge. Or so we it's the, the careful to say the link to Third Milan Bridge. That's Third Milan Bridge yeah. 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 going over there. Yeah, yeah exactly. You can see that yeah. this is the... There you are saying. Um, this is not even too bad. Okay. So my brother even had an early flight to catch this morning. He said that his Uber was now had to now spoiled. Oh so, yes, like the water and everything. Oh. That it was just such a stressful morning. We need to discuss. Day. We need to discuss waste management and waste yeah. collection again. Yes. The way we used to emphasize it once upon a time on the show, we need to emphasize thought, it again. They need money. to start to punish neighborhoods where Thursdays you are not packing your waste and the lawmakers don't come and pack it. We need to start to yeah. talk about it because this flood that we are all experiencing that we are shouting. There's clock drainages. Some people are building in my estate. Some person will carry sandbags and block drainages because his house is lower mm. and he doesn't want the water let coming me, from up. Let me pause you for a second. I'm told we have the commissioner oh. for oh. environment on the phone with us, Honorable oh. Tokumba Wahab. Mm -hmm. um, this is obvious, just like Nima has said, this obviously is as a result of mm. all clogged drainages. Good morning, sir. Hello, Honorable Wahab. Okay, we lost him. Hopefully, he can call back. Um, just as he said, because I even want to find out from him, mm. the places, the buildings they pulled down on the island, mm. has it um, allowed for better? Has it allowed, allowed, allowed for better flow of um, of the water in in those areas? That's mm. one. What other areas are he still looking to see mm. to ensure that they clear the drainages and pull down houses that are blocking the drainages? Mm. So it would be good to hear from him on exactly what's being done because Lagos is almost practically. On the water right now because of yes. all the well, you remember rains consistently. Used, there was a prediction one time that says most of Lagos will be underwater by was it 2030? Mm -hmm. And I remember yeah. uh, Moraya just going, this 2030, I just going like this. For big. Go for big. Go for big. This 2030 is tomorrow. Is, <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm still it's trying to make sure that you know I got the date right. But I know that there's a prediction that mm. shows that Lagos mm. State, not too distant future, mm. will be mostly underwater. And wow. so I understand the commissioner mm. of environment. This particular commissioner, I think he's much more. Um, proactive. Yeah, proactive. Or he seems to be much more insistent on making sure that Lagosians, you know, mm. do what is right mm. by the environment. But yes, we have problems of um, um, waste management, mm. definitely. Individually, now, we cannot all point to government in this case. Individually, in our homes and the way that we live our lives, how do we, um, um, you know, how do we take care of our waste? What do we do when we're walking around? Where, do we, where does our waste end up? And that's on one side. On government side too, what is the long-term plan on mm. making sure that once we clear, because I see that happening now, there's some kind of way, so it's not plastic or anything, but you know, like builders, they'll do some building, then they'll heap it over um, mm -hmm. drainages, mm -hmm. 
And the rain comes and you see that it starts to form a whole puddle and yeah. flooding around that place. Mm -hmm. So it looks like there are other types of waste also that um, government has not been able to find out how they can immediately excavate, mm -hmm. you know. Then there's climate change, whether we like it or not. <coughs> We're going to have more rains this year, I hear, you know, than any other years so far. So what are we doing also government-wise to make sure that yeah. people do not suffer the, you know... I'm told the commissioner is back on the phone. Good morning, sir. What is wrong with our lines? No, this is the rain. rain. Is it rain? Could it be the it's rain? The rain. rain. Oh. Oh, okay, we, had, we thought we lost you. So, um, Lagos is practically flooded today. What do you have to say about it? Thank you, Moriah. Mm. Um, to, to start with, I think I want to just appeal to our people. Go ahead, we can hear you, sir. Hello? Okay, we can't hear you at all in the studio. Um, we're trying to go to try to get him back because maybe our phone lines are also flooded. The phone must. Mm. Well, I wanted to say, yeah. being in traffic, I know that it's raining, but I would have mm. loved to see more of our LASMA and traffic personnel on the roads. That would help really to maintain some order. As you know, Nigerians, when there is no personnel to watch us and tell us how to move, we're just in each other's lanes. And so that has caused major traffic in places that otherwise would have just flown freely. Mm. Okay, let's go to try to go on a very short break. When we come back, we'll try to see if we can bring our guest back. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still talking about the floods going on right now in Lagos. Let's take a few comments on social media. What about people saying? Uh, not about the flood, about the part I missed. How did I miss this hot topic? But Bilky says, not true. There's nothing natural about arrogance. A submissive woman would be submissive regardless. It's mostly about character and it shouldn't be generalized for every woman being a provider instead of the husband. There are good, godly and hum humble women out there. Mm. And then Oluwa Pelumi says, agree or not, men don't stop being the providers. Mm, Mane says, what you're talking about is the inherent characteristics of a woman who prefers a man to be always ahead of her intellect and financial status. If a more capable woman marries a man below her status, whether he's a hard worker or not, see finish will happen by default. But let's go to the um, 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 environment topic. Um, Dame Ebika says, Lagosians should stop pouring out their waste in the drainages. Uh, someone was talking about building modern infrastructure. Don't I think I refreshed and I've lost it. Andrew Stratham uh, says, Mariam, it is... Okay, okay, I don't know. Antarctica is melting and the ocean levels are rising. By 2015, Banana Island would have totally submerged and the sea would have conquered VI. Um, also, this is Andrew Stratham. And he says, yeah, also, he was a also, almost every house in Lagos has its ground cemented. Where would the water go? So, yes, a lot of houses in Lagos, we all have uh, those paved. Nobody is, uh, yes, yes. we don't have uh, so water does not, anymore. Exactly. Yeah. So, the Mebika says, um, Lagosians, especially mainland people, need to stop throwing rubbish into the roads and gutters. I agree. I see too many. Um, uh, this one says the commissioner will only come here and make excuses. Just reason, just reason said Tokubo would only talk about the citizens' misdemeanors and not gov what government is doing. That not that government is failing the people with poor infrastructure. Anyway, we have I to think... wrap up on that. But the truth is that every Nigerian can write a book about what government is doing wrong. Mm. In fact, the, the baby that is inside the womb will right. tell you that Nigeria did this. Government is bad. They are corrupt. They have not cleared. The... Read this in. We can write an encyclopedia of what government is doing. When do we start talking to ourselves and stop worrying about who is highlighting what we're doing? I mean, I, it, it, it irks me. It, 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 the easiest thing to do for anybody to sit behind their phone is to yeah, government somebody. did this, government did that. Yes, I can tell you what government did. Up to though. my head. But we also must begin to highlight what we have to do. Just like you said, to stop 
bag your trash, mm -hmm. tie it up, put it in the bin. But no, they throw it. I saw people say, I saw it's people not throw it. It's, it's a collaboration. It's so I've done. Let's oh, say, I, certainly, so absolutely. let's say I do my part. Yes. Yeah. And it, doesn't pick what up. happens with Loma picking up? Yeah. What happens with, you know, yeah. there are different levels mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Also, where we finally dump it, mm -hmm. how are we managing that waste, yeah. you know? And don't allow people come and raid, come and raid your, your bin. Mm -hmm. You want people to come, you might do your part, and then all those people that yeah, come to, yeah, they come and, and then they open yeah. it and they scavenge it. Yes, and, 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 and yeah. So the point I was trying to make is that the government part, we know, we see, we read, we see it every single day. We need to also start reminding ourselves what to do. So, yeah. community leaders, church leaders, um, estate, estate leaders, leaders, let's remind ourselves of what our responsibilities I are. I need to say this. We've been generating our water because water corporation has failed, government has failed. Yeah. We have learned to generate our power. We even talked about it earlier because government has failed. Mm. Where government is saying, we're charging you ban A, but there's really no ban A power, mm. but you must pay it. Nigerians will resort to generating we don't need to start to resort to recycling our waste. Mm -hmm. The environmental impact of a Nigeria and each of us, the recycling, if I choose to burn my waste, mm -hmm. everybody's burning. Imagine what will happen to the, uh, mm -hmm. to the ozone. ozone yeah. Government has a role of the collective and they must play it. Nobody's disputing that. No, I that's my I'm just, resting, I'm just reminding I you just that, that that thing you just said, we've said it a million times. Mm -hmm. anyway, I have to run off there, but well, let me end with this. this commissioner we are experiencing, uh, I think the commissioner of environment was trying to reach us, but we can't reach him. So mm -hmm. he sent a message saying that we are experiencing flash flooding because the tidal level of the lagoon is high. So that's the reason why we're having this flood. And so you see, it causes a flash flooding. So that means it's just for this moment, mm -hmm. this season. Uh, but the tidal level of the lagoon is high. So I guess blocks, we still need to bring him back to mm -hmm. give us more clarity on what's being done as regards mm -hmm. clearing of the drainages and uh, pulling down buildings that are built on the um, drainage channels across the state. Yes. That's all we can take on today's show. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Thank you.